I'm going to go over how to solve the word problems for corn. You'll notice before number one, it says it gives you a couple of givens that one kilogram of corn contains three times 10 to the third kcals, and a single hectare can produce 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms of corn per year. So you're going to use those givens plus others. Number one. The U.S. grows corn on 96 million hectares of corn each year. How many kilograms of corn is produced each year in the U.S.? So very often on a test, um, the writers will just put 96 million, and you need to make sure that you multiply that by million or that you understand that that's million. So I need to recognize that 96 million is 10 96 times 10 to the 6th. And that's really important that you don't just skip that word million. A lot of students I've seen will just use 96 and forget the million and then their answer comes out wrong. And hectares, the abbreviation for hectare is HA. A hectare is a unit of area. So in the traditional method, we call it an acre. But in the metric system, we call it a hectare. And so this is hectares per year. And it says um, how many kilograms of corn is produced each year in the US. So going back up, we have two givens, three times 10 to the third kcals, or 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms of corn per hectare. I think that's the one that we need. So we're gonna multiply it by that given 1.2 times 10 to the fourth, and this is hectares, and this is, um, I'm sorry, this is kilograms, kilograms per hectare. Now, if you'll notice the prompt did not say, oh, it's 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms per hectare. It said a single hectare can produce 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms. And so you need to recognize that the words may not always say per, but that's really what it is saying if you worded it in a different way. So now we can go ahead and cross, multi or cross out our hectares, and we can multiply 96 times 1.2. And we're going to get our math here. And since we have one decimal point this way, we need one point this way. So our answer is 115.2. And that is times 10 to the 10th. Um, so remember with scientific notation that you, when you multiply, you actually add the exponents. So you multiply 96 times 1.2, but you add the exponents 6 plus 4. If this is unfamiliar with you, you need to go and do the scientific notation review paper. Okay, but this is not actual good scientific notation, so we need to move our decimal point, 1, 2, and so our better answer is 1.152 times 10 to the 12th. Again, if what I just did was confusing to you, you need to go back and do the scientific notation review. Number two, how, many, how much cake cows of corn are produced in a hectare of land each year? So we need to first find out from the top that a kilogram of corn contains three, point, three times 10 to the third kcals. Okay, um, so let's put that down. Three times 10 to the third kcals. A lot of the hard part of this problem set is figuring out what to multiply together because it's really not that challenging if you know what to multiply together. All right, and k cows of corn. Oh, that's the other top given to 
and we know from um, the top that we can produce 1.2 times 10 to the fourth kilograms per hectare. And one of the lovely things about setting this up in dimensional analysis is that when we set it up like this, we can see what crosses out and what our units will be. So we know that our units will be kcals per hectare. And that's what the answer is. It says how many kcals are produced in a hectare of land. And so great, that is wonderful. That's what we want to do. So when you multiply with scientific notation, you're gonna multiply the three plus the 1.2. And I can do that in my head. That answer is 3.6. And then we are going to add the exponents. So it's going to be times 10 to the seventh. And don't forget your units. If you forget units, you usually do not get points on any tests. And that's our answer to number two. Number three, how many kcals of corn is produced in the US each year? So now we actually need the answer to number two to solve. So we're going to take 3.6 times 10 to the seventh kcals per hectare, and we're going to multiply it by the given from number one, which is 96 million. So that's 96 times 10 to the six, and that is kcals, I'm sorry, that is actually hectares, not kcals. So that is hectares. And so that's lovely and nice. Our hectares cross out. And all we're left with is kcals as our unit, which is perfect because number three asks for kcals. So we're going to multiply 96 times 3.6. And we do our multiplication without a calculator. I always tell my students to do their math over on the side, but always set up the problem and the lines. We have one decimal here, so it means we have one decimal here. So our answer is 3, 4, 5.6 times 10 to the 13th because we added the seven plus the six. But now we need to move over our decimal once, twice. And so our new answer is 3.456 times 10 to the 15th. And our unit, don't forget our unit, is kcals. And that is not per kcal, it's just a little scrunched. It's supposed to be right next to it. Number four, 13% of the U.S. corn crop is exported to other countries. How many kilograms is exported? So we're going to use the answer to number one, which was 1.152 times 10 to the 12th kilograms per year. And we're just going to multiply that times 13%, which is 0.13. So now I can go ahead and do my math. Let's count how many decimals we have in the original problem. One, two, three, four, five. So we need to do one, two, three, four, five. So our answer is 0.1496976. And then we're just gonna drop, um, we're just gonna drop this all the way down to here. Now, it's not in sci proper scientific notation, so we're going to move the decimal back to here to make it proper scientific notation. Now, we're going to reduce that to 10 to the 11th and make sure we drop down our units. That is the answer to number four.
Number five, if a person ate half their calories um, of their 2,000 kcal a day diet from corn and corn products, see corn is in a lot of our products, even if you just don't eat like corn or corn on the cob, most of your sugar calories, if you have soda or even in things like ketchup or pasta, they put in corn syrup. And then a lot of our meat calories come from corn because they feed most beef and pork and chickens, they feed them corn. And so it's not unusual for half of our calories to originally come from corn because corn is put into so many other products. So we're just gonna take first um, oh, finish the problem. It says approximately how many people can a single hectare of corn feed in 30 days? Round to the nearest whole person. So we're going to have 2,000 and half of their calories. So that's 2,000 kcals and half of that is 1,000 kcals. And one of the things that's students forget very often is to do that half. They just see 2,000 kcals a day and um, they, because half is a word and not a number, they just ignore it and they skip it and they don't catch that. Just like on number one, students often don't catch that word million. Students often don't catch the word half for number five. So that's 1,000 kcals a day. And so that's per person, and it's asking for 30 days. So our days cancel out, and we're left with 30,000 kcals, and that's per person. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into scientific notation, one, two, three, four, because it's going to make the next parts really easy to do. Okay, and so it's saying, um, well, first we need to get our answer from number two, because number two gave us our calories Per hectare and so we can um, and that so we know from our original problem that 3.6 I'm sorry not original problem from problem 2 3.6 times 10 to the 7th kcals per hectare okay so we have a little problem you'll notice here that kcals per person and kcals per hectare, the kcals both at the top. And so this isn't going to work because we need to cross out kcals and we need to figure out how many people per hectare. So anytime in a problem, anytime in a problem that you have um, something per, like kcals per person, you can actually flip them around. So one person, needs this many kcals in a month. And now if we multiply, our units are in the right place to cross out. This is the beauty of dimensional analysis. This is why dimensional analysis is really important to know and understand. Now, a lot of students don't like it, and so they just try and do it any way that they can figure out. But so often, they'll do this problem. And then they'll multiply these things together that shouldn't be multiplied together because they didn't stop to think about it with dimensional analysis and to cross out what needs to be crossed out and realize that they would have made it, that that's an error. Okay, so now this problem ends up being, again, very easy. And when you can't use a calculator, word problems are pretty easy. The problems will come out um, easy to do without a calculator. And so 3.6 divided by 3 is just 1.2. And then remember with scientific notation, when we divide 
we're going to subtract the exponents. So our answer is 1.2 times 10 to the third people per hectare. And that's it.